Welcome to this week's Falcon Weekly. I'm Bobby. And I'm Cecilia. And for this week, we're starting off with... SPORTS! Attention all football players and people wanting to help with football. Spring practice starts Monday, May 16th, after school, on this field at 3.30. Thank you to the sports guys. Next up is Mario talking about our play. Well, hello, it's your boy Mario talking to your boy Mario over here. And we're talking about the video game Palooza. It's happening this weekend. It's gonna change your life, you gotta be there. I got some hard hitting questions for this guy. Okay, number one. Um, are you having a good time at the show so far? I'm having a great time, way better than Paper Mario. Okay, I hear you, I hear you. Um, there's a little bit of scandal going on. Uh, I heard that you maybe uh, know more than one lady. No, no. No? Hmm. Maybe you heard of another lady that uh, you saved from the, the Donkey Kong. Look, this lady gets stolen by the monkey. This lady gets stolen by a, a giant turtle. I save it in both. Okay, sounds like a big long answer. A whole lot of, lot of nothing right there. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's see. You can go to the show this Friday night at 5.30, the doors open, open at 6 o'clock. Guess what? You could bring a lady to that show. Then maybe you've got another lady. You bring her to the Saturday show. That one, doors open 4.30. Show starts at 5 on the 14th. Maybe you have another lady. You bring her the next Friday. And then the next Saturday, bring another girl. I don't care. Mario's not going to say nothing. Okay, this is your boy Mario. I'm out. Good morning, Central Valley High School. This is Mr. Turner with your weekly update. We just have a few of these left, so we want to encourage you to continue to finish strong. You are very close to the finish line. Just make sure that you're remembering to be smart, make great decisions, uh, put your nose to the grindstone in terms of hitting the books and taking advantage of all of the academic opportunities that you have before you. I want to wish our baseball team the best of luck in playoffs. I know that they are playing winters, and so good luck to them. Also, I want to congratulate our honor grads and scholarship winners. We celebrated them last night. Uh, couldn't be prouder of the job that you do and have done uh, throughout the years. Congratulations. You deserve every bit of uh, all the accolades that you've been able to receive due to your hard work. And we really appreciate all of the effort you've given. I know our school's proud. I know your families are proud and you should definitely be proud as well. Um, today is going to be an interesting day. It's anything but a backpack day. So remember the rules and obviously we want you to have fun with that. But at the end of the day, we want to make sure that you are hitting the books and, and staying focused on academics and finishing strong on this Friday. So other than that, have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon. Take care and feel the Falcon pride. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Now here's some stuff about our Europe trip. Hi, I'm Madeline Malone, and I'm here to interview Mrs. Copridge for the Europe trip that happened over spring break. So, Ms. Copridge, what are all the countries you visited during this trip? Yeah, so we went to Germany, Italy, Switzerland, and France. Okay, so how was it like supervising a bunch of teenagers during a trip? It's always wild and they're kind of stressful. We had some some little uh, snafus, a few lates, somebody left their passport on the plane. But overall, the group I took was really awesome and uh, they made it easy and fun for me to supervise everybody. Now, do you have to be a certain grade to go on this trip or is it for anyone? Usually, I only take my uh, junior and seniors who have been in my college classes. Okay. Why do you think it's beneficial for students to go to Europe? Uh, Traveling is the best thing anyone could ever do. It's super fun. It exposes you to different cultures, different ways of living, um, just different people. And that I think is so important and just makes you a more well-rounded person. Um, so that's why I, I'm a big advocate for travel and just getting out there and seeing the world. 
Now, is there going to be another trip to Europe next year? <laughs> um, as of right now, I'm not sure. Um, they are really um, difficult to plan and, and organize. And so I'm not sure, perhaps. Thank you, Ms. Coverage. Hi, I'm here with Bobby, and I'm going to ask him some questions about Europe. So, Bobby, what was your favorite country you visited? Well, my favorite country was Switzerland. It was really beautiful. The nature there was phenomenal. Phenomenal. They had these beautiful mountains, and you could see like waterfalls coming down from them. It was amazing. Cool. So, what did you enjoy most about the trip? What I enjoyed most about the trip was just getting new experiences, tasting new foods, meeting new people, and just seeing a different world out there. Okay. Okay, so did anything surprise you about the countries you visited? Well, one thing which really surprised me and was kind of weird is a lot of the countries, restrooms costed money. Yeah, about like a buck to go to the restroom and it was interesting seeing that compared to here. Okay, thank you, Bobby. I'm here with Isaac, a junior who went on the Europe trip. So Isaac, what was your favorite country you visited? Definitely Germany. The entire country was so beautiful and it was so full of culture and life all the time and I, we all really loved going through it because of that. It was very exciting. What did you enjoy most about the trip? The culture, seeing the culture of every country and getting to experience it with my close friends um, made for a really wonderful experience every day. And did anything surprise you about the countries you visited? I was surprised how many people spoke English. I was not expecting almost everyone to have a basic understanding of English. Um, but, and that was really helpful. Okay, thank you, Isaac. Thank you, Falcons. Tune in next week for more interviews. Hi. Brody Allen Macy is here. Today, it's going to be 74 degrees. Tomorrow, 85 degrees. And the day after that, 87 degrees. Thank you for your time, Falcons. I'll see you next week. Wow, that was really cool from the Europe trip. Well, goodbye from us. Have a great weekend, Falcons.